Una be welcome once more for this platform. Nami Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonia Defense Forces, aka Sense Pasking. Today I want for take una for the Biafran movement, the Biafran people then the Ranget a sin sit in protest calling for the release of their leader Mazi Namde Kanu, leader of iPod, who is championing the self-determination movement of the Biafran people who aspire to be free and to be an independent state away from Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be very happy for, for announcing our observation for that protest. It be 100 percent successful. The Biafran people then they start this uh, this sit-in protest on the 9th of this month. It's uh, similar the same day as pointed out by Dr. Chu Ayaba, leader of Ambazonia Liberation War. Uh, it started coincidentally on the same day that the people of Ambazonia started their own sit-in protest to demonstrate to the world the will of the people in demand for independence. We want to congratulate IPOT. We want to congratulate the people of Biafra who have come together behind Namzikanu as a new Mandela. He look he he, he represents himself like a Mandela to his people who are aspiring for independence and freedom from torture, freedom from persecution, subjugation which they have suffered under the hands of Nigeria since the amalgamation that had divided the state of eastern Nigeria, which today they call Biafra. The Ambazonian people stand shoulder to shoulder with the Biafran people, especially with the alliance of the Ambazonian Governing Council and the movement of the IPOR. The indigenous people of Biafra will stand together shoulder to shoulder with them to support them. If the Nigerian government, they thought that by kidnapping Namdekano from Kenya and uh, putting him in, in cages, is going to stop this movement. As a matter of fact, they have actually put this movement on its expectant course that is going to bring about the expectant result of independence to the Biafran people. This is a big victory for those who have been clamoring for independence for Biafra. It's a big loss to Nigeria. Now we have seen a situation where the Biafran people have been cornered and due to this rendition of Namdekano have taken this bold step into asserting themselves. Now the Biafran people have, have asserted themselves as masters of their own destiny by sitting down this day and it is going to continue every Monday. The people of Biafra have assumed the primary responsibility of determining their future. It has also shown a trust in their leader, Mazi Namdekanu and all those who clamor for the same. It has also shown that the people of Biafra are allegiance to their state and not to Nigeria. These things have only come about because Namdekanu was illegally uh, picked up from, from Nigeria. As you know, the Cameroon government also have been uh, been involved with the alliance with the Aso Rock to try to undermine the, the aspiration of indigenous people in the Gulf of Guinea, but mainly the people of Ambazonia. So, ladies and gentlemen, I will get into full gear to bring you updates with pictures coming in from Biafra land. But before, I want to mention some of this news that is coming up from uh, Ambazonia. So, there are news that the Cameroon government have uh, been attacked in Bui. They lost seven of their men. And as a reprisal, the Cameroon military went into nearby villages where the population was running away and killed seven innocent civilians in Bui. Such killings now just evidence where the show for the people they say this army of Cameroon an occupation army would then be bent for kill and destroy life for Ambazonia. There is no justification for a professional military, a military on salary, a military with ranks and files representing a state, the state of Cameroon, to go and respond to an act carried out by legitimate forces on the ground that they know their political agenda. For the Cameroon government to then turn and kill innocent civilians, it shows us two things. One, the Cameroon government do not see the people of Ambazonia like their citizen. No government will attack their own citizens for action committed by armed forces or armed group representing a movement. This shows to the people unequivocally that Cameroon government is an occupation force. Their army do not represent the people. These killings is a message to the Ambazonian people that the Cameroon government 
is not their government it is a foreign government that seeks to dominate and subjugate our people just like the white men did during the era of colonialism it is a war crime it's a crime against humanity there is no justification of targeting innocent civilians and we have to fight to stop this impunity and liberate ourselves from a state that imposes its itself upon us using terrorism tactics the second thing such killing shows is that it is systemic we have seen this type of killing over and over for the past four years with now over 30,000 Ambazonians being killed by the Cameroon military systemic as reprisal act as reprisal actions as well as actions to to give to, to inflict on our people collective punishment this show that it is systemic it is coming right from the top of the president of la republic to cameroon no actions will be taken against these soldiers who are committing these crimes and these atrocious crimes in ambazonia so our people have to know that we are on our own and for our survivor our collective survivor we must come together to fight this occupation with everything we have as a matter of survivor and as a matter of liberation there are other actions that have ensued the ambazonian defense forces are bringing footages of their activities in manu state as well as in upper banyang where we are expanding in our drive to reach buya the capital city of ambazonia so ladies and gentlemen let me take you back to to biafra land as i said a while ago it is a big success and this is a fat win for the people of biafra that the entire Biafra have sit down, stay at home to observe this sit-in strike called by IPOT, the movement of Nam Dikanu that will, that are calling the people to stay home to protest the kidnapping of Nam Dikanu and rendition to Nigeria to demand for his release, and this is only going to fuel the drive for self-determination of the Biafran people towards independence. There are footages that have come up. We have seen a, a one of the incidents that happened in uh, in uh, is this APA? APA, we we we, found, we, uh, we have had these videos and images coming from social media and from publication of platforms that represent the Biafran movement. We have seen images of uh, of uh, two Libra bus and one KK. KK is a small Benzikin. We call them in Bambazonia Benzikin or bike men that were targeted. That seeks to violate this protest is very very danger dangerous for anybody to try to circumvent the law of the land when the people collectively make a decision for the common good nobody should violate it and we are calling on all ambazonians who are in biafra to to, to observe this monday sit in protest that will be taking place every monday the same day that the people of ambazonia will be observing the same we are together we must show solidarity together and everybody in, in Biafra land should observe these days very important irrespective of your opinion going against something which is for the public good you already put yourself in paras with the people and the vanguards of the revolution we have seen major markets in Biafra land we have seen this this is a market in uh, Aba a market in Aba is very very famous market very huge market closed down even the federal government in Biafra land also closed down to observe this day of uh, sit in protest even in onicha we, we have images coming in from onicha and you see everybody is in everybody's indoor to observe this day to send a message to the nigerian government and their allied cameroon and the international community that they cannot trample upon the people's right of africa the people of biafra have the rights to organize themselves and advocate for their self-determination which is exactly what nam de mazi nam de kanu was doing it is a great success looking at these pictures of onicha i'm very very so embarrassed i've been to 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 lagos i've been to abuja i've seen the level of investment by the federal government of nigeria to make those cities economically vibrant and to see that onicha a huge and highly populated uh, state like this it have been left to rot and look how it is dusty and everything the biafran people have to fight really to take control of their resources and invest it in their own land and uh, it's a very 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 big big success the cameroon government you know uh, with nigerian government have tried to undermine this resistance by using paid agents to make statements that will, will, will suppress the enthusiasm of the international media to cover this this uh this event 
but we have said always that the revolution shall not be televised except by revolutionaries so we are here to 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 tell the whole world to understand through ac and tv what is going on in biafra we we saw the one of the factions of the ambazonian movement the ig faction led by a splinter group of the ig faction led by sako ekome who came out with a press statement of the fact that there is no uh, alliance between the biafran people and the ambazonian people of course we know that is just uh, lies and those 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 uh, news press those press conference were, were pushed to nigerian media and media across the globe to publish them in order to suppress what is happening which is that the biafran people have risen up la republic du cameroon and nigeria have failed and the people have risen up their story will be told nevertheless and we want to shame all those who have paid agents who are, who are trying to derail the people's aspiration they they have been a press release from the ambazonia governing council stating clearly that the alliance between both people of ambazonia and the people of biafra is strong the alliance between iport and the governing council is strong the governing council also will continue to seek other alliances within the biafran people as there are several factions but we do recognize mazi namdekanu and iport as the major faction just as the Ambazonia Governing Council is one of the major factions in the Ambazonian side. So we are very happy. Congratulations to the Biafran people. They should continue this match and continue to evolve. We, we they come, The Nigerian government will continue to try to undermine them by paying some KK men to go on the road and try to, to misrepresent this drive. But the, the Eastern Security Network will trust them to step up and be the vanguard of this people activity so that it will not be undermined and anybody who takes bribe from nigeria government should not be allowed to have peace but this type of activity we are expecting them and we know the eastern security will handle such a such movement so this is now an active drive of self-determination and we, we we now know that this the message have been sent to the international system that the biafran people are now in control of their land they are now taking active control it is only going to get worse and i on a personal note i want to tell the biafran people that we do not expect any justice from a system that is meant to subjugate the biafran people and uh, people should stop expecting that namdi kanu is going to be released because of the laws on in nigeria nevertheless they have to make their case but they have to focus more on the liberation of biafra because that is the most important thing that namdi kanu have dedicated his life for it is one for all all for one Namdi Kanu is very frail. We have had information about his health and we are very concerned about his health. We call for his immediate release and unconditional release. He is no criminal and we want to shame and name the British government for failing to provide him adequate consular support as a British citizen. We we'll continue to, to pray for his family and for his well-being and for him to have strength as he has always had strength. But we continue to, to encourage the Biafran people to focus on liberation they will have to, to to stop any nigerian government promulgation of itself in biafra land especially with elections that are due to a number is it a number state a number state will be having a governor elections that should never ever happen it is time for the biafran movement the people of biafran to really consider making biafran ungovernable for nigeria and from stopping all the exploitation that is going on in the gulf of guinea of our resources of by the by the western powers that are backing the buhari and nigerian government to continue their subjugation of the biafran people is very imperative because those resources so long as they are exploiting those resources they will have no incentive to put pressure on nigerian government and the nigerian government will have no incentive to stop this madness nigerian government governance of biafran land should come to an end and their exploitation as well should come to an end international politics is not about human right or, or, or sympathy it's all about political interests and we are wise enough to know that we are wise enough to take measures to to mitigate that we hope the biafran movement is going to follow suit and it's going to be it's inevitable they are going to go to that route so we have seen all those 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 images i want to play some images to you to watch also the the biafran people in abroad have also risen up to to rise up and organize protests to show you that the people are behind mazi namdi mazi kanu these are images of uh, in berlin 
of protest by Biafran people who are demanding the release of their leader. We never needed France. We never needed Britain. Britain and the Jihadist government of Nigeria are killing our people. They are raping our mothers. They are raping our sisters. During the Biafran war, the British Jihadist colony more than 5 million Biafrans. 5 million. They decapitated our people. They are turning our children to refugees in the whole world. We are not refugees. That's no plan we have for our children. We have a future for our children. But we need to be free from Nigeria. We are not Nigerians. We are Biafrans. We are not Nigerians. We are Biafrans. The word echo from Berlin in Germany by Biafrans who are protesting the, the arrest of their leader and calling for liberation and self-determination of their territory. The calls are only going to get louder. The effect of the diaspora movement for Biafrans is only going to get louder and the support for the Biafran liberation now will intensify with this poor judgment from Nigeria. The international community and the African people have to understand that the, the state of Gulf of Guinea have become a black hole for international diplomacy and humanitarian law. Nigerian government and Cameroon government do not care about the African Charter or international humanitarian law. They have violated it with the arrest of Siseko Ayok Tabi, one of the Amazonian leaders in Nigeria, and now the Nigerian government uh, involvement in, uh, in the rendition of uh, Namdi Kanu. We have to know that the international law do not apply to these people because they have British and the French government to back them up. We have to fight this survivor fight with all our might. We have to engage and kick these people out of our land because we have no choice. Otherwise, our children and our children's children will become refugees. The migration out of Biafra and Ambazonia will continue unabated. We have to fight this. It is an existential threat to our people. This is a battle for our self-preservation. And we must fight it knowing that these people care less about the international law and the international system as we're careless about this, these people. We have also seen that local chiefs in Imo state in Nigeria have also come out to declare their support for Namdi Kanu and also pronouncing libation and curses to anybody who stand against Mazi Namdi Kanu. And uh, this message should also go, should also go to Samwe Ikome Sako, the paid agent of Cameroon government that have tried to denigrate Namdi Kanu's alliance with Dr. Chu Ayaba this should be a message to all of them coming from chiefs. So these are local chiefs, chiefs of Imo state. They have come together to send a powerful message. They are together with Nam De Kanu and they put a curse on anybody who goes against Nam De Kanu, a selfless individual who have stood for the right of self-determination of the indigenous people of Biafra and Biafrans living everywhere to be able to return back to a homeland that they can call theirs and self-govern themselves and determine their political outlook as their right is under international law and uh, this goes to everybody who have come against them and uh, this have now shown that there is a now direct challenge by ipod with the nigerian government this movement and this ghost town policy is very good they should move it towards the ungovernability and they should make sure there will be no federal election conducted in the the anambra state that is come that is due to they have to stop it. They cannot allow Nigerian government to kidnap their leader, try to stifle Biafran voices, and at the same time organizing pro-Nigerian elections in Biafra land. It's not tolerable. This is war. So, ladies and gentlemen, there have been attempts, as we, we have said very well, by federalists within the Ambazonian movement, paid agents to, to try to to, uh, to, to, to undermine uh, this movement in Biafra. We have seen one of the, the, the leaders of a faction called the IG group. 
it is a splinter movement i have to sp speak in this way so that people who watch me across africa they can understand and those who are watching me from biafra should understand there have been statements made by this man called uh, sako ikome declaring that there is no uh, alliance between the biafran people and the ambazonian people that is a complete blackmail he's a paid agent a federalist that is parading himself as an ambazonian nationalist and he speaks for the cameroon interest these statements are false there is an alliance between the biafran people and ambazonian people that is being led by the leader of the major factions the iport and the ambazonian governing councils this is the reality on the ground that alliance is flourishing we are having good relationship with the biafran people on the ground and our people have to know that the relationship between the ambazonian people and the biafran people goes way back late in 2016 there was a congress organized in Imo state between the the biafran national league and the amazonian governing council that was uh, 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 that was uh, that was ongoing and we have had many conversations and many interactions and and good relationship with all the factions in the biafran land and we will continue to enhance those those uh, relationship the relationship is for self-preservation and nobody can stop it sako can only speak for himself and for his uh, his group i'm going to take time a little bit ladies and gentlemen to 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 really tell you people who are these people behind this sabotage so we have uh, uh let me come put out the screen so i'm going to take you into an in-depth look into the people who are trying to sabotage and undermine biafran aspiration as well as the people of ambazonia it will be surprising to a lot of biafran people that have called me that somebody in ambazonia claiming to be an ambazonia president will send a message to solidate so to consolidate to to solicitate uh, maybe an alliance with the with the nigerian government a government which is a hostile state towards the ambazonian people i'm going to take you into a look in in to these people who are doing all this this issue and uh, these are the group of people it is a group of people that call themselves the act it's called they call themselves a uh, team ambazonia and i want to show you some of their their group members so that you know where they are coming from and exactly what they are trying to do this is a post made just yesterday by this this uh, individual called innocent chia innocent chia is part of the group led by sako called the app in this letter he is condemning the the, the cameroonians who are planning to protest against mr pobia why one wonder why would somebody who is supposed to be fighting against pobia condemning people from protesting against pobia this will show you the underlining activity of this group of people they are paid agents by pobia to undermine any opposition with against biafra and even against mr pobia in la republic to cameroon of course they have a fake reason that it is because somebody wants to go and join that protest with an ambazonian flag people have been doing that for forever the reason they are putting this thing is to affect the protest that is going on in geneva against mr pobia the cameroonians have their rights to go and protest against pobia and nobody can try to undermine them you have seen that these are the same people who have uh, tried to stop the ghost town that we have in ambazonia the people call themselves the act innocent child representing one of the group called maurice this is just a few individuals from the same village the same family innocent chia his brother uh how they call it, his brother and uh boo herbert that they parade themselves as representing ambazonia is ludicrous so the people of biafra should know that the people of ambazonia the legitimate people are behind them these individuals as you see here was supporting the cancellation and the the, the temporary they call it temporary but we know they were testing the ground because their aim is to stop the ghost town is to discredit the leadership of ambazonia to ensure that the the movement will, will stop for their personal benefit and kickbacks that they have from the cameroon state you have to know these people who these people are we have also had reports from the war bank that have clearly stated just this year 2020 that these people privately have committed to federalism with cameroon as opposed to independence which is what the people of ambazonia are fighting for 
so they definitely are speaking as speaking as people who have an understanding and an active relationship with the cameroon cameroon uh, government immediately after this uh, this uh, pr this presentation the initial reaction from samuel ikome sako who is criticizing and trying to undermine the aspiration the, the alliance between the ambazonian people and the, the biafran people made a, a press statement in which he says that those who are preaching for federalism will not reject an outcome of independence of course you know when people have been paid to make statements they cannot outrightly reject those same statements that is why you see sako coming out his initial reaction to the world bank report that calls him a federalist that is parading himself as an independentist that he came out was actually not denying but saying that those of them who are preaching federalism will accept independence how ridiculous <laughs> it's supposed to be ridiculous anyway you, there is nothing like a perfect crime so the biafran people have to be rest assured that this man sako ikome is a federalist who is working hand in hand with the cameroon government to undermine ambazonia aspiration and now that the cameroon government is partnering with the buhari government they have been partnering for a long time they also will use him to suppress the enthusiasm of both people it is just common sense that two people who face the same enemy the enemies are already already collaborating have to see the needs to come together that's why the biafran people and the ambazonian people are coming together with the leadership of nam dikano mazi nam dikano and dr chur ayaba to ensure self-preservation and effectiveness in the prosecution of their their strategy to liberate both people I will still give you a little bit background information so that ladies and gentlemen you know exactly who these people are the person in question somewhere in Komesako was acting as an acting interim president for Seseko Ayoktabi who was kidnapped by the, Nigerian, by the Nigerian government during the period of time when he was acting as an acting interim president of this group called the IG group representing Seseko Ayuktabi, he was the, his administration was marred with corruption misappropriation and he was definitely called to book by the his same organization the ig group as you can see behind me i'm going to play this video of a constituent conference of all the constituent members of that organization who came into who came into a conference in number in uh, washington and indicted him and put him on suspicion suspension suspension for committing gross misappropriation and embezzlement you can listen the speaker of this video is the ambazonian bar association president harmony bogba speaking on behalf of this organization calling this individual sako ikome whom we know is a federalist to book you can listen a fraud embezzlement and gross misappropriation of public funds will resolve as follows a an independent external audit shall be initiated immediately and must be completed within 30 days. B, that during this audit, acting president, Dr. Samuel Ikomi Sako, as head of the executive arm of government in place, is placed on an administrative leave. With so, ladies and gentlemen, the individual Sako Ikome have been was suspended by his organization the ig group even though he refused to relinquish power and his position he now do not represent that group he represent a splinter group of the ig group which is still under the control of seseko ayoktabi who is in prison he has named mr yerima dapni as his acting interim president for the meantime sako have been fired from this his group the ig group let me bring to you videos of that conference in his organization that resolved to terminate him being a representative of that group called the interim government. Publicly challenged the authority and mental aptitude manuscripts, also called the draft constitution that centralized powers in his hands to the extent of incapacitating the legislative arm 
and creating a fake judiciary committee of the interim government to such extent that his tenure now clearly mirrors that of dictator Bia's regime and the government the governmental style of neighboring La Republic du Cameroon. That acting president, Dr. Sako, publicly challenged the authority and mental aptitude of our captured leaders, thereby undermining his superiority and denigrating the image of our entire leadership. That the administration of acting president, Dr. Sako, has been marred with continuous divisive tendencies with the banning of active revolutionary movements and individuals, and also the practice of corruption, corrupting self-defense volunteers on the ground, thereby increasing the discontent and disunity amongst our people and increasing the death toll of our restoration forces with false and unfulfilled promises through my trip to Boya. That the administration of acting President Dr. Sako, through inflammatory negative public pronouncements, has greatly stained the image and integrity of our beloved Ambazonia before our people and the international community, thereby hampering the diplomatic work of every Southern Cameroonian involved in diplomacy. Based on all the facts established, the APNC 2019 hereby considers acting president Sako very limited in his abilities and character to lead the people of Ambazonia in completing the restoration and independence mission. APNC 2019 and all its constituencies hereby from the date of publication of this statement cease to recognize Dr. Samuel Ikome Sako together with any of his appointees as representatives of their of their aspirations and advises all Ambazonians to follow suit. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can hear clearly, that is the organization, the IG group, that have banned Sako and fired him. He does not represent them in any legitimate form. He is a federalist, as declared by the World Bank report of 2021 about regarding Cameroon. He do not represent our aspiration. He is a self-declared president of his imaginary uh, state. The Ambazonia is real. Our territory have had a legitimate government that was led by Dr. Jongu Foncha. That government had been dissolved by the Cameroon state and our territory remains without a government. When our people, our territory have been liberated, our people will mandate a party or an individual or whoever they choose to create a real government for themselves. It is ridiculous that this man who have been fired from his group will then claim that he is speaking on behalf of Ambazonia. Every Ambazonia have the right of political association and political participation and can organize groups to represent the interests of the state. No group have an exclusive power to represent the interests of our people. No group is a government it is ludicrous it is lovable but we know these are people motivated by financial gains he, he have a history of being a, somebody who have been engaged in such dubious activities during his tenure as an acting interim president in the ig group he also mad, he was also mad with corruption embezzlement and misappropriation of fund using money from the from the ref, refugee using donated money to to live luxurious life while the people suffer so his statements should be ignored they are inconsequential and they are irrelevant we are marching forward with our alliance with the different people both people in both people on on both sides of the territory are coming together we also recognize other factions in the Biafran movement and we are also engaging them we will continue to do so and why we are fighting for our liberation struggle so that is it ladies and gentlemen i'm also going to take you people now into into a manu the ambazonia defense forces their command so have gone into manu as we are we are expanding we are now in a, in a strategic uh, we are in a strategic program phase of our liberation where we are isolating 
outposts of Cameroon military and raiding them. We are seeing other forces doing the same. We congratulate them. We have to continue this movement. We have had huge, huge success. Some of those success will not be broadcast here for, for security reasons, but we are going to release some images later on. And uh, in Manu, you know very well, these paid agents, these federalists that are masquerading themselves as Ambazonian had brought in tribalism that had kicked out a lot of our forces in Manu. As our forces are going into those areas, some of those areas, they are actually engineered tribalist villagers to arrest some Ambazonian fighters and hand them over to the enemy state of Cameroon. Those soldiers were killed. So, because our forces have gone there and they are carrying out some operations, intelligence operation, picking up some of those people who were involved, educating the local people, some individuals who are CPDM people who are in this courtic, courtic movement of the CPDM and embedded agents, they are now using those information of arrest of civilians by the ADF forces as propaganda tool against our forces. We want to reassure our people that every activity done by our soldiers on the ground and why all this on with no cause anybody that have been arrested have a just cause to be arrested nobody have business as usual the cameroon government is not in control of that area the the forces of the buffalo as well as the adf forces of the fraction of the ig cannot definitely unite with us because they don't share a common goal of independence these are federalists these are paid federalists. Their, their political stance and objective is not driven by the ideology. It is driven by personal benefit. These are corrupt individuals who have a very bad record privately. So God bless you all. We we'll continue the ghost town movement. We we'll continue to bring you updates across the Ambazonian territory. There are more footages of our four soldiers who captured a, a, timber, a timber position also in, 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 in Manu there. And I want to also congratulate uh, General Papi for the wonderful work they are doing. We have had a wonderful conversation yesterday. And uh, this our sister forces. They carry out a wonderful operation there. We, we congratulate them. We we'll continue to support them and provide them with the necessary support they need to carry out their mission. God bless you. Have a good day. Ciao.